Hello everybody, it is Mr. The Epic Ninja here. I'm back with another video. This time we are looking at the top 5 best melee weapons in Terraria 1.3.1. These weapons are the absolute best in the game under the melee damage class. However, this is just my list, so make sure to leave yours down in the comment section below, and if you see a list you like, make sure to give that comment a thumbs up. But before I begin, I would like to give a few honorable mentions. Although these weapons are really, really good, it just they're just not good enough for them to make the final list. They are the Daybreak, the North Pole, and finally the Flareon. Now, without further ado, let's get right into this top five list. At number five, we have the Vampire Knives. This weapon can be unlocked from Crimson Chests in the Hard Mode Dungeon if you have the Crimson Key. Damage-wise, the knives aren't super strong in comparison to the other weapons on this list. However, they have a life-stealing ability, making them very viable as a secondary weapon, which you can switch to when you have low health. And then you deal all the damage and heal up back to regular health, and switch back to your main weapon. With a very powerful high damage and crit endgame loadout, this weapon can actually become viable as a primary weapon, except against the Moon Lord because of like the lifesteal debuff, so it won't let you lifesteal. Considering how early this weapon can actually be obtained, it is super useful for tearing down the late game events and is all around just a very helpful weapon. So to sum it up, this weapon is just really helpful to have on you, and that is why I believe it deserves the number 5 spot. At number 4, we have the Meow Mir Sword. As an actual weapon, this is, well, a very good weapon, however it's not as good as the other ones on this list, as obvious in this clip here. Um, anyway, it's, it's, it's very good, but, well, the noise is incredibly annoying. And, like, Red, why would you do this to my ears, honestly? Oh my god. Anyway, so, yeah, the Meow Meow drops from the Moon Lord. It has an 11% drop chance. And it fires explosive, bouncing cat heads on every swing. Seriously, this thing annoys me. However, it is really good against events and does happen to have the highest base damage of any weapon in the game and hit crits of 1000 plus, so yeah, despite the fact that it puts me through physical, mental, and emotional pain to use, it still deserves a spot on the list, I guess, because, I mean, it is good against events. Number three is the Solar Eruption. This is a super powerful flail-to-spear crossover-like weapon that can pass through blocks. On contact with the first few enemies, this weapon will actually create an explosion, giving the surrounding enemies the Day Broken debuff. On each swing, the flail will damage the enemy roughly 5 times, dealing at least 500 damage, but with buffs, this can turn up to several thousand. The ability to pass through blocks makes it a great weapon for fighting the Moon Lord for the first time. Obviously, the setup that I've got at the moment is, is not a good setup. Don't use this. Um, but yeah, since it passed through walls and most of the Moon Lord's attacks don't, it makes it a super handy weapon for the fight. The second best melee weapon on this list is the Star Wrath. The Star Wrath is the other sword that drops from the Moon Lord. Uh, DPS-wise, both swords are very similar. However, I do prefer to use the Star Wrath as I find it to be more accurate on targets such as the Moon Lord. The Star Wrath causes three pink star projectiles to fall like a Star Fury on steroids. This means that the Star Wrath can target two different enemies at once, one with the sword and one with the projectiles. With that being said, try to get as many of the stars to land on an enemy as possible as they deal double the damage of the sword, which is absolutely crazy. What makes this weapon better than the Miami for me is its ability to target moving single enemies instead of just event enemies. However, the Starath is good against the Lunar Event and other events like that as well. And that is why it deserves the number two spot on this list. If you have watched my best 
Terraria 1.3 weapons video. <coughs> Links in the description if you haven't seen it yet, by the way. Uh, you will know what is about to come first. The Terrarian Yo-Yo. So this is by far the best Yo-Yo in the game and easily the most powerful melee weapon when the player has the Yo-Yo bag equipped. This weapon works like an upgraded flare on spewing out homing projectiles, except this yo-yo has an infinite spin time and a crazy good range. It can fit into tight gaps to take out enemies, but is also incredibly good out in the open. Not only that, but it also has an insanely high DPS on multiple targets, and also the highest DPS for a melee weapon on a single target. However, I can't really show that on the test dummies since the actual uh, the actual like homing projectiles they won't target uh, the single test dummy they they spread out. And so yeah, that is why it is the number one best melee weapon in Terraria 1.3.1. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy and would like to see more top 5 lists, make sure to smash that like button because these videos take a very long time to script, record and edit. So if we could get 500 likes, that would be absolutely insane. Also for my next list, the top 5 ranged weapons, I don't want it to be my decision what the weapons are this time, I want it to be a group decision. So. Uh, in the description, I'm going to leave a straw poll, and on the straw poll, it'll have all the high-end, uh, like the very end game ranged weapons, and you need to pick the best ranged weapon, and the most votes is the winner going down, uh, and I'll pick the five most voted. Um, if it doesn't get enough votes, then I'll have to go with my own opinion. So, yeah. On a side note, my upload schedule has been a bit weird recently. I have exams at the moment and I've needed to study for those. However, if you would like to know what's happening and when I'll be uploading, etc., make sure to follow me on Twitter to stay up to date at Mr. The Epic Ninja. Links to that will also be in the description. Anyway, like I said, thank you very much for watching. Subscribe, leave a like, and comment if you want to see more. And I will see you all in the next video. See you, everyone.